Welcome, my friends, to our fifth Angel Master Class. I am so glad that you are here with us to join in this rarefied atmosphere of, of high consciousness, high spiritual energy with our beloved angels. They are lifting us up so high today. This week has been an interesting week. I've been wrestling with some technical stuff that um, uh, altered the course of my day the last couple of days, uh, not the way I was imagining it to be at all. So it wasn't until this morning that I sat down and said, okay, angels, illumine me. Tell me about this angel light body. I want to know. <laughs> and the message that I got was remarkable. It was so profound and so deep. This is where we're going in a few minutes. That it took me a couple of hours to receive it as the angels took me into these deep places of eternal peace and pure existence outside of thoughts or being or feeling. That's where we're going today. I love working with the angels. It's always such an amazing experience to me because uh, when I start, I just have this little um, outline. I have just a, an idea of where we're going, and I have no idea what's going to unfold. I just trust. And so with these angel master classes, I know there's going to be six. There, this is number five. Our next and our last one is going to be in January. And whew, as they unfold, I am astonished at what's happening. And even more so, I'm astonished at how each one lays a foundation piece for what's going to come afterward. So what we've experienced in the first four Angel Master Classes has prepared us for today. And if you weren't in all of them, it's just fine. All of the energy is coming through into this particular experience today. So whether you are a part of them or not, you might feel curious and want to go back and revisit the first four master classes as we go forward over the holidays, preparing us for the sixth class in January. So this one today, activating our angel light body. Oh, the wisdom, the energy, the activation that, pour, that is going to pour into us now is remarkable. So. Without any further preparation, let's just dive right in, shall we? I have to put on my glasses to read this. Oh, oh, of course, of course, of course. The energy is already starting to rise. My nose is itching. Let's close our eyes and take a deep breath and just relax. That's it. Just like that. And as we breathe and relax, I, I, like, to, I like to put a hand over my heart. We're going to learn more about why that is in the message today, but everywhere we're going today, we access through the love that's already in our heart. So let's begin with a hand over our heart, breathing into our heart. The angels will explain that love is the key that opens the gateway to higher consciousness, to our true being, to our angel light body. So let's begin with a hand over our heart, breathing into our hearts. Breathe into the love that's already here, waiting for you always. Who do you love?
Thinking about who you love, feeling that love in your heart is the simplest way to begin to open your heart chakra, to begin to feel the love that's already there. So as, as an example, do you have children? Feel the love in your heart for your children, not just the thought of it, but the actual feeling inside your chest, in your heart of love. Do you have a mate that you love? Feel your love for them in your heart. Maybe it's your parents that you love or other family members. Think of them and feel your love for them and their love for you in your heart so that it goes beyond the thought and is a feeling. And there's always our little fur friends, our birds, our kitties, our dogs, our horses, our fur creatures. For some of us, our primary relationships are with our fur creatures or feathered ones. And if that's the case for you, feel the love you have in your heart for your friend. And let that love open and expand in your heart. Breathe into it. Breathe into that love until it becomes an expansive force that is growing in your chest, growing in your heart, growing to expand out into your physical body, growing to expand beyond the confines of your skin into your energy field, into your emotions as this love is expanding and expressing itself, into your mind, into your thoughts, so that your thoughts are filled with thoughts of love for those who are most important to you. Or perhaps it's the angels or spirit or God or Mother Mary or Jesus that's the most important for you. Whatever it is for you personally, let your heart open in love. Feeling this presence of love growing and expanding beyond just you encompassing them, expanding your heart even more. That's it. Our hearts have opened to bring us into our soul temple. I see us all now here in our soul temple. It is so natural for us when our hearts open to make the journey into our soul temple where only love resides. There is only love here. Can you feel it? Do you sense it? And as we breathe into this love, Archangel Michael has joined us in our temple of soul. He has opened up the circle of light, the circle of love for us here. He protects us when we are in our soul body. There is only love here. And it's kind of interesting because there's nothing to protect from. But Michael is always here opening up this light space, protecting our soul calling, protecting our soul destinies. And there are so many other angels here. There's Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael. Archangel Metatron, Archangel Jophiel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Zadkiel, Archangel Ramayela. So many angels, the seraphim are here. Our team of angels here are here. Our guardian angels are here. Can you feel them all? Can you see them? Do you sense them? Do you know that they are here? Trust the way you perceive. For some of us, we feel energy. Some of us just know. Some of us can see. Some of us hear. However it is, trust it for you. And if it seems like you don't know or you're not getting anything, just trust that because something is truly happening. Keep focusing on your breath and the love in your heart.
So the angels are calling me to identify a few other of the precious beings who are here with us today. Oh, there's my sweet friend from Angel Love Cards, the Angel of Desire. When I found this image, it was so beautiful because you are here. Your soul desire brought you here. Your soul's desire to experience divine love, to experience the presence of all that is. It is your soul yearning, your soul calling, your soul desire that brought you here. Thank you for coming. And also from Angel Love Cards, the angel of gifts is here with us because we will receive many gifts today. I know what some of them are because I got them this morning, but there are more gifts that will be coming to us that will be a surprise today. And some other mm, beautiful beings. This is how I do it. I fan the cards out, and then for some reason it's my left thumb that just knows. I don't know why that is, but my left thumb just knows, and if you think about it too much, don't do that. Ah. So from Angel Love Card, Zachariel, the Angel of Surrender, is also here with us. And that's interesting because part of the message today is about surrender, so that's no surprise. It's surrendering the parts of us that we're really done with and we don't want any more anyway. <laughs> but then again, our angels will guide us into all of that in just a few minutes. So let's take a break, a breath. Let's take a breath and jump in to this amazing message of guidance. This is partly from Angel Archangel Metatron. Okay, okay, I have more to say. <laughs> This is partly from Archangel Metatron. It was Archangel Metatron that I felt this morning activating my angel light body. That's Metatron's job. That's what he does. That's one of the things he does. It's part of the sacred geometry of who we are. It's also Metatron who is guiding us today, who's taking us out of the confines of time and space and bringing us into the eternal now. It's with Metatron that anybody who watches later from the recording will be joining us in the eternal now. It will be as if you are here with us now, because you are. Your soul is here right now in the now where I'm speaking, even if you didn't even know about this. You will be joining us watching the recording in the eternal now, where we are all together in this divine state of elevation and love. Thank you, Metatron. So also, also with us, our Mother Mary, Holy Mother. In this high holy season as we approach Christmas and the other sacred holidays at this time of year, it is the gifts of the Blessed Mother giving birth to our true being who is here with us. And so she is here with us, helping us to birth our true being our true self, our angel light body into the world of form. We will make the connection at the highest realms of spirit and bring it into our world of form for access in our material life. This is a tremendous blessing. We thank you, Holy Mother, for being here with us as our mother helping us through this gift of experience. And also Jesus is here with the Christ energy. The Christ energy means our true being. All of us have the Christ energy. It is our true self. And that is our angel light body. So we are literally being birthed into our Christed presence or our true self at this time of the year when the Christ, the true being of all of us, is being born. What a precious gift this is.
Okay, now the message. No more. Okay, there's more to say before we start. You have a guide with you right now and your angel, your guardian angel is on your right shoulder and your angel guide is by your left shoulder. If you breathe, you might be able to perceive this presence of both your guardian angel on the right and your other angel, your guide on the left. This guide may be an archangel, it may be a seraphim. It may actually be your true being. Your angel self. It is an amazing, powerful, beautiful, magnificent, glorious being of light. Can you feel this blessed one? And it is truly an honor to have this one manifest here in our physical worlds with us, beside us, with a hand on our shoulder. Guiding us. holding us in love. So here's a few ways to recognize the presence that you wouldn't normally connect. So If you close your eyes and breathe, you might notice that your mind is quieting of thoughts, that your emotions are quieting of feeling, that your body is holding very still. No thought. Pure presence. And you might might just perceive a band of energy going across you, a horizontal band of energy going across about the level of your face. I'm perceiving it as a white light, but you might see it as another energy, a color. Whatever it is, it's perfect for you. And I'm experiencing it going from left to right. And as I tune into it, this band of light has no beginning and it has no end. It comes out of eternity and it goes into eternity. It is a very precious gift. Let's breathe and be present with it for a moment. And my ears are ringing. It's the sound of eternity that I'm hearing. Can you hear it? And there is a feeling of a change of pressure around my head. A sense of expansion. 
Are you feeling that? The body is stilled and slowed down, quiet, doesn't want to move. You feel that? I'm experiencing a change of, of pressure. Like when you go up in an elevator and or you fly, changing altitudes. That is a symptom that we're being taken outside of time and space and into the eternal now. What a precious gift. And our third eyes are being opened, allowing us to open our inner vision to see and to know more. In our heart, our heart is being opened. I'm feeling such joy. I could simply sink into this feeling of an expansion and joy for all of eternity. Can you feel this? Did you just feel another shift as our crown chakras are being opened, connecting us with the divine, with our soul star? Okay, now, now we're ready for the message. Thank you. Thank you, beloved ones. The angels say, we are here. Breathe. Relax. Trust. And the heavenly host celebrates this great moment of awakening as you discover more of the truth of your being. There are millions of angels in embodiment at this time to turn the tide toward the great awakening for this golden age. That's us. Your soul star is the key to your light body. Think of it as the lock in the doorway or the gateway. Your, your soul star is the closest access point to the higher realms of being and your angel light body. It shines etherically in the light of your aura, just a few feet above your head. At the divine moment of activation, your guardian angel calls Archangel Gabriel and the ascension begins. Ascension takes place in many small steps or experiences over time. 
In this first initiation, the soul star is activated. That means it becomes accessible to you. It is as if you can see the lock in the door. So what is the key? For many of us on this, in this experience today, coming together, our soul stars have been activated for a long time. And we're going to the next initiation, the next step. So what is the key? Love. As your heart chakra expands and the love that you carry becomes a visceral force in your heart and your life, you gain the inner strength necessary for the next escalation of light. A visceral force, that means you feel it. That's why I was having you at the beginning. Feel the love that's in your heart. Feel the love that's already there. That's a visceral force. Feel your heart. Feel your heart chakra. We feel it painfully when our heart is broken, but we also feel it when we fall in love. It's a presence. The soul star above our heads expands to reveal the lock. And the love in your heart becomes the key that opens the gateway or the doorway to your soul body. You are granted access to the higher realms of existence outside the, time, the, the confines of time and space. If you've been with me for a while, every time we get together, we journey to our soul temple. And sometimes we go beyond that, which is what's happening today. So in our soul body, you may travel in your soul body to the past or the future to heal and gain wisdom and insight as you make life choices. The soul realm, the temple of soul, is your first experience of a realm where there is only love. There is no fear or pain, no anger or betrayal, no longing or need here. The soul is the treasure vault of all goodness and supply. Everything you need in life is here, available, waiting for you to access and retrieve for use in material life. And this is only the start. As rich and abundant as the soul temple is, the soul is a mere taste of the infinite bounty of spirit that awaits you. Imagine it as an introduction or a training ground. There is so much more. So I want to pause here for a moment because I'm feeling a little ache in my heart, and I want to explain that just in case some of you are also feeling a heart ache. When our heart chakra opens, our heart chakra is accustomed to a certain amount of energy. <clears throat> flowing through it, a certain amount of spiritual energy and a certain amount of love flowing through it. And when that loving energy expands so that it's greater than what we're accustomed to, when the love pouring in is greater than what you're used to, it comes in through your nervous system and it pushes against the limits, the energy structures that we've created for ourselves. So it's if we've created these bars around our heart chakra, only allowing it to expand so far. So when more energy is in there than we're accustomed to, and it's pushing against this energy um, constraint, this, this structure of constraint, it has to literally push it open. It has to break through the limitations of that energy. And sometimes that can feel a little painful, like a little heartache. So if you're feeling that, it's a good thing. And it just simply means that your heart chakra is being expanded beyond where it has been. So it's a good thing. You can just give your heart a little extra love and gentleness as we go forward. Love yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Nothing is wrong.
oh, something amazing really just happened. Did you sense that? We were taken into a much deeper spiritual realm. It was a strange experience for me. It was as if in a movie, you know how in a movie uh, our characters are, are phased into a different reality? It was kind of like I've seen in movies. That was a first. And my energy body is now much larger than it was before. My energy body is now filling the entire room that I'm sitting in. Whereas before it was just um, a foot or two beyond my physical body. Did you experience that expansion? So let's go on with our message now. The soul is the treasure vault of all goodness and supply. Everything needed is here, available, and waiting for you to access and retrieve for use in material life. But this is only the start. As rich and abundant as it is, the soul is a mere taste of the infinite bounty of spirit that we were just escorted into. Imagine the soul as an introduction or a training ground, and there is so much more. The soul is temporary. In our human experience, the soul lasts for all of material creation, which is millions of years. But from the eternal perspective, that is temporary. Can you feel this truth with your inner knowing? When I received this message this morning, I found myself questioning it and curious, wondering, is that really true? And the answer I got was wonderful. Our wondering, our curiosity, lead us into deeper truth. Your angel light body is the first aspect of your true being that you glimpse. And your angel light body is eternal. Your true being is eternal, dwelling in the divine realm of love. You may feel a strong soul calling or life purpose. There is also a much deeper, more pervasive calling that comes from your true being. Your soul calling pertains to action in the material world as you awaken and serve. In your light body, you are already ascended, awake, one with all that is. You are infinite. You are eternal. Can you sense the difference? Are you feeling it now? The mind is quiet in the angel light body. This quiet can be accompanied by a feeling of travel, of expanding beyond the multiverses into a deep, eternal peace. While you exist as a unique aspect of consciousness, 
There is no separation from all other beings of light. You are all intimately connected. We are all intimately connected in oneness. The very substance that we are composed of and all of this realm is composed of is the essence of divine love. It is an experience of pure love and consciousness with no self or personality or individuation. It is at once ecstatic and serene, expansive and fulfilled. There is no trace of the challenges of material existence. Your breath is a connecting link. Keep your awareness on your breath as it flows in and out. The experience simply is deep, profound, unperturbed, massive, eternal. Can you feel it? I don't know about you, but my energy field is throbbing and pulsing right now. And the ringing in my ears or the sound of eternity has gotten very loud. And this presence of energy is powerful. And it's a little hard for me to talk. This is the presence of your angel light body. This is the experience of being present. This is what it means to just be. In this state of oneness, you are omnipotent, omnipresent, omnif omniscient. So how does this apply to human life? If it's possible, Think of a challenge or a need or an opportunity in life. Mm. Oh, the energy is increasing and expanding on my right side. Are you feeling that? Uh, these are kind of harsh words, but it felt as if my I was pierced by a higher energy, um, an amazing divine energy, so that the part of me that is constricted was pierced by this influx of divine energy coming in around the left side of the back of my head. was a little surprising, but um, not unpleasant. And I'm feeling an ex escalation of the energy coming into my ascension chakra. So we just received a gift opening our ascension chakras even more.
Thank you. So if you can, think of a challenge, a need, or an opportunity in life. It could be anything from health, finances, or work, to relationships, or spirituality, anything. Whatever comes into your uh, being right now. Hold it in your heart. Breathe into the presence of oneness. The challenge doesn't exist here. It is irrelevant. So how does this help with earth life? Because the challenge still exists in earth life. From an experience of oneness, of deep peace, there is no suffering, no need, no conflict. So allow this part of yourself that experiences the challenge to be released, to see all perfection, all resolution. See the opportunity. See the highest vision beyond the challenge. See the co-creative potential with your divine angel light body, your true being. And imagine a life for yourself of deep peace, abundant expression, and divine co-creation where everything is possible. So one phase of spiritual awakening is to give up everything. And this important action is often misinterpreted. We often experience giving up or losing everything materially, money, house, family, job, and a stripping away process. I know I've been through that twice. Everything that's not in alignment with our soul calling and our true being is released. Under the surface, though, it is a false concept that we are trying to release and that we need to give up some of the things that get lost and get discarded in this process. What we're really letting go of, what we're really releasing, is our belief in poverty, that there's never enough or we'll just barely get by, that punishment and suffering are inevitable, that no good deed goes unpunished that we have to make do with what we have or make it work somehow because there's never what we really need or true love doesn't even exist. What we are truly surrendering, what we are truly giving up is the beliefs that define who we think we are, that limit us, that keep us stuck in the small perception of our ego. What we're really giving up is those beliefs that attract to us life experiences that validate the beliefs in lack, in limitation, in poverty, in unworthiness. So from this state of oneness that we are experiencing now in our angel light bodies, none of the personality and the challenges exist. The presence of love permeates all things. It is the substance of everything. The next phase of awakening is to have, to receive, to experience infinite possibility and to give up, to surrender our beliefs in limitation and lack, allowing ourselves to receive lavish abundance. Allow your imagination and your intuition to run wild with possibility. 
open to imagine life in your angel light body as a super being, a master soul. Imagine applying your super, your angel superpowers to life. So what are these angel superpowers? The ability to be present no matter what's going on around you and being able to see the situation from a higher perspective. So here we are in this experience of being present in the ecstasy of the divine. You can now simply close your eyes, breathe into your heart, and bring this experience of presence into any situation in life. Where you can gently draw the part of you that's suffering, that's separate, that is alone, that is lost in confusion into the heart of all that is, into the divine heart of all that is, loving it with divine unconditional love. Placing this presence of divine unconditional love into your heart, in your physical body, In this connection of love, everything changes. Can you feel it? The next angel superpower after being present is to be at peace in the midst of disturbance. This presence, this peace is so deep that nothing can disturb it. And you now have the gift, the ability, the angel superpower to call forth this presence of peace in the midst of disturbance in life. You have the ability to draw on the power of love, divine love, unconditional love, to resolve any conflict. Breathe into your heart and everything you need will be placed there in the moment. You have the angel superpower that allows you to call forth the substance of abundance to satisfy, to fulfill any need or desire in life. Substance is love. And when you activate love, when you call forth love, when you see love appearing as what you need, it can then easily and quickly manifest. In your angel light body, you are eternally connected with the heavenly host and the source so that you are never alone in omnipresence. There is always a feeling of support and wisdom from your true being and the heavenly host present with you now. 
You stand in the strength and might of omnipotence. And what is that mighty power but love with Archangel Michael by your side? You are tapped into omniscience with all wisdom and knowledge available for the asking. It is you, the true you. You are the gift. You are the blessing. At this point, when I was receiving this message this morning, this little fear flitted across the screen of my mind. This little fear that if I become some great and glorious being, my family won't be able to stay with me anymore. But that's not true. You can let that go if that feeling or that thought has occurred to you, you can let it go. It's just the ego struggling to survive. This beautiful presence dwells within us in our life as we are. We don't lose anything. We continue to love our families even more. So relax, breathe, trust. This energy is so deep, I can hardly keep my eyes open and speak. Let's just relax into it for a moment. Breathe, let your breath coming in and out carry you into this heartbeat of eternity. You may have a sense that you are dissolving, no thought, no mind, no body. Let yourself go into that, just keep breathing. A necklace was just fashioned for us. That is the essence of the true realm. And this necklace was placed around our necks, etherically the necks of our energy body so that this energy will always be with us. And if you're wearing a ju any jewelry, like I'm wearing my sapphire heart, that jewelry has been impre impressed, infused with this energy 
of the infinite, of the all that is, of unconditional love. Breathe and relax. Can you feel that necklace? Did you receive that gift? You are the blessing angel. Allow this part of your true being to be present in life. What does that mean? You are intimately connected with everyone in ways that are beyond imagining. You feel everyone around you as an empath. And think that what you feel is you. You experience the collective, of con the collective consciousness and believe its thought forms are yours. We're having another opening in our throat chakra now. Let's give it a moment. This is very intense energy. So if your body needs to move, let it move. The movement, your body knows how to move. Let it move and the movement will help you to receive this energy. Like my, my hand is helping here. I'm not sure what my hand is doing, but it's helping beyond my little mind. As a blessing angel, you have a clearer perspective of the cause or source of feelings and thoughts originating outside of your personality. So how does that work? As an example, when you find yourself judging someone else for how they look, how they act, what they believe, or what they are saying, breathe, relax. In your energy being, step back for a moment. The ego perceives everything it experiences as a part of itself. It takes everything personally. It instantly assesses how it would feel for you to look that way, or to act that way, or to believe that way, or speak that. It tries it on as if that's you. And if you don't like it, if it's not in alignment with your true being, it's natural for us to have judgments or criticize that other person because we're saying, oh no, that's not for me, which is really all you're saying. All the judgment of someone else is saying is, huh, that's not for me. I just tried that on 
and I don't want that. No, thank you. That's not me. Okay. What's happened is just simply good discernment and awareness. The judgment is the personality rejecting the possibility with an emotional and a mental reaction. So breathe. Relax. Be present with your true self, your angel light body, and instead try on the truth of who you are. The magnificence, the light, the love, the peace, the glory of who you truly are. And see the light body of that other person letting go of any judgment or criticism you may have felt. Find a place inside where you can accept that person just as they are. You don't need to change them or fix them in any way. They are perfect just as they are. They're on their own path. So relax and be at peace, blessing them. This is an angel blessing. You stop judging them, and you bless them, you accept them, you appreciate them. That person has already unconsciously felt the sting of your judgment because we're intimately connected. And now they feel the blessing of your acceptance. Each time you bless, you add love and light to the collective consciousness that everyone experiences. And each time you judge, you fortify the energy of judgment in collective consciousness. Now don't judge yourself about that. Just let it go. You have the angel superpower to choose blessing. You have the angel superpower to breathe, to distance yourself from your experience, to come into the higher state of consciousness within yourself, to choose light, choose expansion, choose love, choose peace, choose blessing. Mm, I'm getting really hot. That's the energy of the divine, the energy of the divine heating us up. Do you feel that heat? You may feel cold. That's another blessing. So likewise, when you feel anxious or fearful or worried, when you have thoughts of despair or unworthiness, when you beat yourself up or find yourself in a downward spiral, it's the same thing. Breathe, relax, trust, step back from the experience. Breathe yourself into the eternal presence of peace and of love. Find the greater truth, which is the opposite of the negative aspect of your experience. And shine the light of love into the darkness of despair or fear or anxiety or worry. Be the blessing angel for yourself. Light up the dark corners of your life with divine love. Be the radiant, shining one that you truly are in your angel light body. Shine on. So breathe now and feel that. Breathe into this experience of bliss. Breathe into this presence of being. For those of you that it's very late, you might just want to go to sleep in this energy. Don't try to pull yourself out. Stay in it. But for those of you 
on my continent here in North America. I would love to hear you share. So if you can, if you can speak, I would love to hear you share about your experience. So to do that, if you're on the phone, let's see how to do that. There's a way for you to raise your hand. I've got everybody muted now. There's a way for you to raise your hand. So um, I'm, I'm seeing Rena wiggle her hand. So did you want to share, Rena? Yeah, okay. Let me unmute Rena. Hold on. I, the energy was incredible, but I'm having this pain all the way. It started kind of at the heart, but it's in my back and it goes across my back and it just, all of a sudden, it's very strong and not sure what that is. Maybe it's something I'm trying to let go of, which I think probably it is. I am so glad you mentioned that, Rena, because what's happening is our heart chakras open in two directions. They open out in the front, and they also open out in the back. So in artwork, when, we, when our artists paint angels with wings, when we see light bodies and we see this energy emanation coming out the back, that is literally the light emanation from the heart chakra coming out the back. Mm -hmm. And so for you, Rena, your heart, is open it can I put you on the screen is that okay sure okay yeah. I'll put you on the screen you're such a beautiful woman <laughs> yeah so for you Rena your heart chakra is literally opening out the back and as I'm seeing this I'm actually seeing your heart chakra open in the back and I'm seeing an emanation of light both coming out the front coming out your chest and coming out the back oh. can you feel that Yes, uh -huh, I do. So it, it can start as a, as a pain, like as you, as you said that I could feel a pain in my back because I'm, I'm tuning into you. Up, uh -huh. it, can start at, it can start as the perception of pain because we don't know what it is. Uh -huh. The moment we breathe into it and relax and we allow the energy to open, those energy structures that I talked about, are literally breaking open that have constricted the amount of love that your heart can feel. Oh. So you are literally healing past experiences of pain. Okay, great. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. So I'm seeing past lives where, uh, this is pretty gruesome, but I'm seeing past lives where you were stabbed in the back and killed that way. Right. Where you were betrayed and stabbed in the back. And that is literally being healed right now in the moment. Oh, wonderful. So that energy residue of that betrayal, of that heartbreak, of that death is literally being released and opened up in the power of love. Oh, that's great. Can you feel that? Yes, I can. Yes. So you don't have to know who it was or how it happened, but in this moment, we can all have forgiveness because this has happened to all of us. Right. So we can all have forgiveness for whatever happened in that situation in our past lives where we experienced something like this. Mm -hmm. Or even in this life where we've this experienced a betrayal and felt as if we were stabbed in the back by somebody who was supposed to love us. No. So thank that, you. That fits. <laughs> So thank you, Rena, for uh, bringing that up and sharing that with us because we are all healing and our heart chakras are expanding and opening up. And I'm seeing your beautiful angel light body unfurling its wings of, of energy field in such beautiful ways. Can you feel that happening? I do. I do. And as it's happening for you, I'm feeling it for me and for many others as we are opening up our energy being unfurling our angel wings in such love and healing presence. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Rena. Thanks. I appreciate you sharing that. Thank you.
Hello? Hello, who's speaking? Uh, this is Deborah. Hello, I Deborah. Hi, had, I, I had two things that went on, or three things. First of all, when we were first starting it, I had strong pain in the back of my head. And then after a while, when you were talking about different things, um, Archangel Raphael showed up. And then when you guys were talking and you were telling her about her heart chakra in the back, I was having pain in my right shoulder up at top, on the top. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, Deborah. So let's tap into that right shoulder. And let's see what that is. I'm going to draw an angel for you, Deborah. And Rena, I'm going to come back and draw an angel for you too. But I'm going to draw an angel for you, Deborah. And this is a funny one for our right shoulder, but this is the angel of vulnerability. Does that make sense? No, not offhand. Okay, so let me help you understand vulnerability. Okay. So in vulnerability, in, in our human life, we have been misinformed to think of vulnerability as something that, it, we, that as a weakness. When we're vulnerable, we can be victimized and hurt. And, and in life, that is true. Um, if we're open and vulnerable without discernment, without good judgment, we can be victimized and we can be hurt. But at the spirit level, at the soul level, as we open up in consciousness, being vulnerable means that we don't have to know everything. Does that fit, Deborah? Yeah. Yeah. What's, what's happening in your life where it feels like you, you're supposed to know something that you don't? Well, I've been um, told apparently there's maybe something else I'm to do, and I just right now don't have a clue what that is. So I guess that's knowing everything, you know, spiritually. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, yeah. What a wonderful place to be, Deborah, because from this place of not knowing, of vulnerability, you can open your heart to a greater expansion and discovery of what it is for you what the angels are bringing in for you what your true being and your soul have in store for you so as i tune into your right shoulder it feels like it's just trying to get your attention because that's where your guardian angel is your guardian angel is on your right shoulder and your guardian angel is saying hey 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 i'm here hey i'm here i'm here can you get that hey I'm, yeah <laughs> i'm here I'm here. Let's give you a little zap of pain to get your attention because that's, you know, that's a good way to do it. <laughs> How are we going to get your attention? Zap. <laughs> okay. 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 I got it. I got it. So that's your guardian angel there for you, Deborah, and your team of angels saying, hey, 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 we're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here with the wisdom, with the guidance, with the information that you need. So now, Deborah, all you need to do is to begin listening in life, to begin watching for synchronicities, for watching for miracles, for opening to just simply know or hear or feel or sense the right direction for you to move in. Does that make sense, Deborah? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And are you getting a sense of what that direction might be right now? Uh, no. <laughs> well, what do you enjoy most in your heart? What do you love most in life? What's most interesting to you? Well, the angel, the archangel. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, so there you go. You're on the path of the archangels. So you're on it. So every time you meditate or tune in or learn something or explore with the archangels, that's it. You're doing it. You're already doing it. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you know who your archangel is who's guiding you? Well, I offhand not sure. I know I have Michael around me. So that's yeah. your archangel. That's it. That's my archangel. See, okay. see how see how simple this is? If we could only just trust what we know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> that's your inner knowing. You just know. Yeah, Michael's around you a lot, all the time. Yeah. Michael's your archangel guiding you. So Michael's okay. that one by your left shoulder. Your guardian angel's by your right shoulder. And okay. Michael's that one okay. by your left shoulder. All right. Okay. Does that, does that make sense? Yes. That was interesting how the guardian angel first, and then now we're talking about archangel. So, I, I, I thought you were on the phone, Deborah. Can I put you on the screen? Is that okay? Yes, I am on the phone, though. But oh, yeah, yeah, okay. you can. That's okay. Okay, no wonder you showed up on the phone. There you are. Okay, I got you. Okay, yeah, so something I went strange. Yeah, I okay. can't do both. Okay, I can't activate. Oh, okay. I can't activate your video, so um, so never never mind. Since you're on the phone, oh, okay, guys. I can't activate your video. So um, okay. So so there you are, sweet Deborah. There you are. Um, let me find you. I just lost you. Oh well. So does that make sense for you, Deborah? Yes. So are you are you saying that my garden angel is gonna say that stuff to get me to? talk to Michael or yes yes yeah yes okay and just like we experienced today there are so many riches for you waiting in your soul and Michael's bringing you there Michael brings you there to your soul Michael is protecting and guiding you toward your soul destiny oh wonderful So thank you, Deborah. Thank you very much. Blessing. Thank you. To thank you. you. Blessings. So Rena, I wasn't thinking I didn't um I didn't pull an angel for you. So I'm gonna come back. Let's come back to you and get an angel for you. Okay. With that heart opening. So it's the angel love cards, and let's see. Who is, who is it? Oh, okay, they're doing it differently. Okay, so this is a this is a shuffle kind of a pop out thing. That's the one. Okay, <laughs> there's so many different ways. It's a shuffle and wait for the one to fall out. <laughs> so for you, Rena, it's the angel of generosity, being generous with yourself, and how perfect for this Christmas season. How perfect. It's the Holy Mother with the child as you birth the love in your heart, as you birth your true being, as you receive your team of angels being generous with you, opening you up to more love, eternal love, eternal peace. So beautiful. How does that feel, Rena? Oh, I love that. I think it's beautiful. I think it's just, it just makes me feel so good. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, Rena. So who else wants to share before? Oh, oh, there's some, some sharing in the chat room. Okay, so. Uh, Smitha says, I hear somebody, we'll get to you here in just a moment. Smitha says, I cannot speak and do not want to speak. Wow, do I know that. The energy is so high, I have it vibrating on my left side of top head and then felt expansion in heart too, full of, vibrate, full of vibration. Any insight for me, please? I'm shivering now. Oh, beautiful, Smitha. Yeah, you are just in the embrace of your angel light body. No need to try and figure it out or understand it. Just be in it. The shivering is the feeling of your angel light body coming down, enmantling your physical body and 
vibrating your energy, your physical energy field. This is a tremendous blessing, Smitha. So just be with the experience. Thank you, beautiful one. Oh, let's get an angel for Smitha. Let's see. So the angel message, Smith, us to be very gentle with yourself, to be very kind and loving and gentle with yourself. Have mercy on yourself. Let me know if that makes sense to you. So Teresa says, I don't feel the energy very directly myself, but I can feel you when your energy is affected. And I can feel the energy when you feel a shift, but not really on my own. So when you ask us if we can feel it, that's when I realize that I know of what you are talking. Oh, beautifully said, Teresa. You know, that's why I describe it, because these inner experiences at, so, at first, at first, these inner experiences are so extremely subtle that you wouldn't notice unless you were specifically looking for it. And that's what's happening, Teresa. I'm actually feeling all of you. And as I feel you, because I'm an empath, I feel everything. So as I feel you, I feel it as if it was me feeling it in my own energy field. And then when I describe it, you can tune into it and see, well, am I feeling that? And if that's not what you're feeling, you can realize, no, that's not what I'm feeling. And it helps to draw your attention to what you are personally feeling. Or if that's what you're actually feeling, you can feel it. So, so beautiful, Teresa. I'm really happy that you, you shared that. And uh, Sherry says, yawning. I keep yawning bigger and bigger and stretching feels good. The experience was peaceful, calming, and joyful. Oh, beautiful, Sherry. Beautiful. When we're yawning, we're taking in more energy. We're opening Oh, oh, even pretending made it real. Yeah, we're taking in more energy. We're releasing. We're opening. We're accepting more spirit. We're opening to deeper love. Beautiful, Sherry. And Smitha says something is happening in my throat now. Beautiful, beautiful. So your throat, your throat chakra is opening up in a in a powerful way. Beautiful, Smitha so that you can speak the truth in life. So I'm hearing somebody else. Is there somebody else who's unmuted and wants to share? Who is that? Just speak up. This is Marianne, Angel Magic. Oh, Marianne, hello, hello. Just a moment here. Okay. Are you on, on the phone or are you on the webcam? No, I'm on the phone. Okay, okay. But what I wanted to say was that was amazing. And when it came up to our soul star, uh -huh. I saw the energy of emerald green, the most beautiful, stunning gold and the brightest, just magenta, just in rainbows, just going through my cells. And I just had this incredible, warm, yummy hug kind of feeling throughout my blood. It's just amazing feeling. Oh, beautiful. You are actually seeing your guardian angel. And your soul. That beautiful, really cool. That, that beautiful emerald green and the magenta, that is your guardian angel and your soul. Yay. <laughs> yes. Well, I got shown. See, I'm starting to do my um, sacred heart dream. I'm an angelic light leader of playfulness. And so, what I am to do is to bring other light leaders together. And remember, for them, we all play together. And that's what's happening now. But I got shown in my mind's eye, uh, myself and my partner going around the world and having different events to return the playfulness back to our lives. Oh, beautiful. Is this Marianne the Water Angel? Sure is. Oh, I, th I thought so. I thought so. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Oh, <laughs> yes. 
beautiful. Well, I finally got to be on one of your calls because every time I'd sign up, I had to do something else. And so this is the first one I finally got to be on. To be on. Oh, oh, wonderful. <laughs> you know, Marianne, your voice has changed since the last time we spoke. I can feel a tremendous transformation that hap has happened within you. You are correct. Because <laughs> when I went on a train trip to go and meet another light leader, people came up to me and said they want to sit by me because I emulate a golden energy. Yes. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah. woohoo! <laughs> yes, beautiful. Beautiful. So it's happening more and more, and I'm just. I'm just finally accepting that I'm part of the angelic light leaders of playfulness. You are. That that is yeah. absolutely true. Yeah. And I got to speak. I went to this person's event and I shared with the code that I got for the event. And he was like, I want you to speak for a minute about what that code is. And I did. And they said, honey, you don't have to try. You are it. Your essence just went throughout the group. And one gentleman came up to me and just said, I used to kick playfulness to the curb. And because you came forward, I'm now going to come forward with my playfulness. And I almost cried. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Sorry yeah. about that noise. I just, um, just muted it out. Beautiful. Yeah, so that was very exciting. Oh, thank you, Marianne. I'm so happy that you joined us today with your... Um, angelic light leader playfulness and your golden yeah, yeah. Your radiant golden yeah. energy thank you yes the joy 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 thank you thank you you're welcome thank you so would anybody else like to share somebody else just unmuted who else would like to share before we close up today hey, last one i'd like to say something wonderful who's this gloria, gloria. Oh, Gloria. Hey, Gloria. Are you on the phone or are you on a webcam? No, I'm on a, my laptop. Laptop. Okay. And let's so see I'm... if I can find you here. Gloria, there you are. Can I put you on the screen, Gloria? Oh, if you must. <laughs> beautiful. There you are. Hello. Hello. Hello, beautiful Gloria. Hi. I had a question because I didn't know that I could get on with that link that you ended up telling me, but it was, I only got about the last 15 minutes, but I really wanted the um, activation. Would it work anyway, even though I wasn't here and didn't listen, but I had the intention that I really wanted? Yes. What another great question. Yes. You got the whole activation. Oh. And, and I'll make the recording available so you can go back and hear the whole thing if you want to also. Oh, I would it, love that, yes. It was very sweet. Yes, sounded like it, yes. Yes. And I, I ha am having a lot of headaches, so I don't know if, if you can identify if that's the more I seem to connect with spirituality and healing, the more I seem to be having headaches now. Yes, that's a symptom of awakening, all right. It's a rather unpleasant one, but it has a yeah. really important purpose. Yeah, yeah. I, I've had that quite a lot. It has a very important purpose because just like those energy structures that I was talking about before in, in pertaining to the heart, mm -hmm. we have it in the chakras in our head too, and we have actually four chakras in our head. Mm -hmm. We have our third eye in our forehead. We have the crown chakra on the top. We have the ascension chakra at the back of our head and we have our throat chakra that even though it's in our throat, it's in the vicinity of our head. Yeah, mine's so, at the back of my head. Yeah, so if, if you're feeling pain at the back of your head, what that means is your ascension chakra and your throat, because your throat chakra opens out the back of your neck at the back of your head. Mm. Your, your ascension chakra opens up at the, at the back of your throat around the base of your skull. And your ascension chakra is a little higher if you put your finger on the soft spot and then you, you put your thumb on the soft spot and then you put your fingers around the back of your head a little higher on, the, on their skull, mm -hmm. if your hand's a little low right now. Your hand is at the place of your, net, your throat chakra. Oh. Lift it up a little bit. Put your thumb in the soft spot, the little V groove. Yeah. Yeah. And then your, it's where your bun is. <laughs> oh, oh, we have there? Yeah, there, there. Yeah, that's the ascension chakra. Oh, mine's a little lower then. So it must be my okay. throat. Okay, yeah. So that's the back of your throat opening up. And once again, 
your throat chakra, all of our chakras, we, we construct these structures that limits their ability to expand. That is a, a safety mechanism in the early part of our evolution because it keeps us from blowing out our circuits when the energy increases. Mm. But as we awaken, as we expand in consciousness, those energy structures are too constricting and they have to open up. And so sometimes when they open up, it's a little uncomfortable. Sometimes it can manifest as a pain, as a headache, as a, just an uncomfortableness. And what's happening is that energy field is just simply pushing against that limitation and expanding. Mm -hmm. So if you just put your hand on it, when you get that kind of a headache, if you just put your hand on it and you breathe into it and you know that this is a blessing of spirit, that this is the gift of the divine opening up in you, opening your throat chakra, opening your abilities to speak from your heart, to speak the truth. Usually that's enough to release the pain. Oh, good. Yes, that'd be nice. Yeah, usually that's enough. Sometimes, you know, an aspirin is good from time to time. But usually just being present with it, if you just lie down, and say, I'm here, angels, take me, fill me with your energy, I'm open. You can let the energy flow through your whole being so that it's not just uh, pushing on that one spot, it can flow through your whole being. And um, another thing you can do is you can uh, lie on your back and put your hands on your solar plexus or put your hands on your belly and imagine moving the excess energy through the top of your head, down through your body, through your neck, beyond where it hurts, and into your belly and down your legs and out. So the energy is literally moving all the way through your body. Okay. That gives it a channel to move in. So again, it's not just getting stuck. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I'm so glad that you asked, Gloria. It's a joy to see you. Thank you. You too. Thank you, beautiful one. Hello, who's talking? Hi, it's Randy. Oh, Randy. Hey, Randy. Hey, Randy. Are you on the screen or are you on the phone? I'm hanging up the phone so there's no less feedback. And uh, uh, my computer doesn't have a camera. Oh, okay. Okay. There you are. I see you now. <sighs> so what, what are you experiencing? Oh. Oh, hang on. I had another thought for, let me go back to Gloria for a minute and then I'll come back to you. So Gloria, passion. Your angel is passion. And when you are feeling that discomfort, just think of what you are most passionate about and channel the energy toward that passion. I'm sorry, I, I got distracted and forgot to tell you that. Okay, now, now Randy, I'm all yours now, Randy. Okay, so... As you were bringing in that energy, I could feel in my body, uh, one way to describe it would be like a viscosity mm -hmm. or, uh, you know, a thickness mm -hmm. in comparison to what would be the norm as far as the mind. And it was, I could actually sense in my awareness, my sushumna expanding or widening to uh, something like a column or a shaft of light um, that would even exceed the limits of the body. Um, so I had that unique sense um, through your ministry. Um, um, waking up more in my lower chakras, I've been having a sense of myself in my sacral more so than I have in years. I'd like some guidance on, you know, not just expanding my heart, but bringing into my body, my soul, in the way that my mind is aware of the energy below my heart. So Forever. for, yeah, for you, Randy, this is particularly important. And so for those of us who have delicate bodies that are going through health changes, it's very important that the energy not get stuck at the heart, that we bring it all the way down into the lower chakras, to our legs, to, our, to nourish, to heal our whole body. So you are right on track with that, Randy. So for you, that experience of denseness, of heaviness,
That is the presence of spirit. That is the presence of the divine pressing in on your energy field so that you can perceive it, so that you can feel it. I went through a time in, in my awakening where when the presence of the divine was with me, it was very heavy. And it almost felt um, oppressive. It was so heavy, but it wasn't oppressive. It was like a weight. It's hard to describe, but it was that denseness, that heaviness. And what that was, was the presence of the divine saying, I'm here. I'm with you. You're not alone. And the other important part about that experience, especially for you, Randy, is that density is, is, has literally made the presence of love more able to infuse into your physical body. So when you feel that heaviness, that denseness, know that you're receiving an infusion of divine energy that is literally healing your body and being. It is literally restructuring your DNA and your RNA so that as your body creates new cells, they are, are being created out of wholeness and health. Rather than replicating the um, other ones. I do want to dance. Yes. Yes. And let's see who's helping you, Randy. So it's the angel of humility who's helping you to realize I don't know. I'm open just as today. You're good at this. This is just confirming that humility is actually one of your angel superpowers, Randy. Where you can say, I don't know. I don't understand. I, I'm not getting it. Please help me to understand. And in that humility, you open yourself to receive the divine knowing that you need to gain a greater insight about your experience. Does that make sense? Uh, it's actually a pretty supernatural reading because of where I've been with trying to call that in. Explain yeah. how through, humil through, hum through humility we come to grace. And, you know, I've been teaching it to someone. I'm teaching it to someone. And for you to affirm that, just, just like totally, totally synced with intentions that I've set for weeks. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Randy. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to just read a couple of more comments in the chat room, and then we have to go for today. So Smitha is saying something in my throat now. Any angels around me feeling very much in my throat? So for you, Smitha, it's the angel of realization helping you to recognize, helping you to realize the presence of angels, the activity in, in your throat and your stomach area, the a movement of energy, the presence of your angels. You're right on track, Smitha. All is well. And Teresa says... The last two mornings during my yoga, I could feel a distinct warm spot on my left shoulder. Would that be my spirit guide? Absolutely. That's your spirit guide, putting a hand on your shoulder, Teresa, saying, I'm here, I'm with you. And it's happening during yoga because you're opening your body at that time. You're opening your body and your inner senses to a greater sense of perception. So that's it. You are feeling the presence of your spirit guide. Yes. Yes, Teresa. So I want to thank you all so much for being here with me today, being with us today, sharing this love. Oh, you're welcome, Smitha. Sharing this love. So there's just one more thing I want to share with you before we go. And that is that, do you like these experiences of connecting? Do you like this? 
Yes, yes. Well, I like this so much that I wanted to create a way for us to join together regularly so that we can get to know each other better, so that we can join regularly and have these experiences of communion and oneness to be lifted up into the presence of the divine and to, to learn great stuff that we need to know. So since 2008, the angels have been asking me to create a group that will allow people to join in a community where we can come together in that community. And I finally did it. I finally have the technology to allow for that community. So what I've opened is now as the new president of Gateway University and Gateway Community, I've opened the Gateway Community of Higher Consciousness. So write that down, Gateway Community of Higher Consciousness.com. And we have this new beautiful membership community where once a month we get together, we just had our December meeting on Wednesday and it was astonishing. And if you join now, you'll be able to get access to that experience we had on Wednesday, where the, it was a total surprise. The angels activated our throat chakra, uh, speaking of the back of your head and your throat chakra. And that's what happened to us on Wednesday. You might have also received that energy. and. This um, interesting object was placed in our throat chakra that was described as a megaphone for the voice of truth and authority for us to speak through the voice of truth. It was quite an experience. So Gateway Community of Higher Consciousness.com. Join our membership and you'll be able to join us every month for these live experiences where we get together, we share. We connect like this, we learn something. And then also there's some other wonderful gifts that you'll get, including a, a wisdom teaching. Um, this month, the wisdom teaching is from my personal mentor and my beloved friend, Reverend Dr. Judith Larkin Reno, who passed away this summer. And she loved the holidays and she saw them, she experienced them as spiritual initiation. So every year at this time, she, spent many, many days in deep, deep personal meditation, understanding and receiving the spiritual initiations that happen that are available for us at this time of year. So our wisdom teaching for the month of December in the Gateway Community of HigherConsciousness.com is, uh, yes, I will put that in the link for everyone, is Judith's book called Spiritual Initiation and the Christmas Angels, plus two classes she taught. One of them is Spiritual Initiation and Angels at Christmas Time, and the other one is the Christmas Angel Procession, which happens on Christmas Eve. That is astonishing. You will want to know this because as we get these aches and pains, like a headache or a pain in your back, Right now, and for the next couple of weeks, massive amounts of spiritual energy are flooding into the earth plane. There are literally trillions of spiritual beings surrounding our earth, flooding our earth with high, very high energy of divine love and peace and every divine quality we can imagine. If we're oblivious, ah, Claire bought a microphone this week. Ah, I love it. A megaphone, a megaphone, yeah. <laughs> If we're oblivious, that energy comes into our bodies and as awakening beings, we don't recognize it and it plays havoc with us. It makes us feel irritated and um, ag agitated and uh, we don't know why. We might feel worried and we don't know why. Or, or we might, my nose is itching with the energy, the flow of the energy. Uh, and so by gaining awareness at what's happening, by gaining awareness of the possibilities of the energy that are pouring in and how we might use those possibilities and opportunity, then we put it to work for us. We harness it, we put it to work, and the discomfort immediately lifts, the agitation, the irritation immediately lifts, and we jump into co-creation with the angels. So I invite you to join us in the Gateway Community of HigherConsciousness.com to receive this important, very powerful teaching 
that will be active for actually the next, about the next three weeks. You want to know this. We also have a place where we can connect with each other as members to get to know each other in a private Facebook group. And we have some other wonderful blessings and gifts for you. So again, it's Gateway Community of Higher Consciousness.com. I'll send it to you in a link. Thank you so much for being with us here. And our sixth and final Angel Masterclass will be in January. I can't wait to see you. I love you all. Bye for now.